for the first time in a long time, people are connecting to make their sanctuary. It is a beautiful time to grow. That's the message behind Black Girls Greenhouse. It's a West Oakland-based plant and home goods shop. It's a community space, and as you can see in this video, it is an absolute vibe out there. Today, the shop owners are celebrating one year of being open. I cannot wait to visit this place. Joining me now are Kalu and Jamaica, the beautiful women behind this sanctuary. Uh, my dad always calls our home his sanctuary. Sanctuary. So I love that that's what you are helping people create for themselves. Happy anniversary, ladies. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Does it feel like a year's gone by already? No. Uh, it feels fast for me, and it feels slow at the same time. <laughs> well, I know that the world dealt us a pretty bad hand last year, of course. You ladies took that and created something truly beautiful uh, for yourselves and for the community. Talk to me about the inspiration behind Black Girls Greenhouse. Um, you know, you're right. Like you said, last year we all got dealt a pretty tough blow with COVID and everything. And so I think within that, we both just wanted to create something that felt the opposite of that, something that represented the opposite of that. Everyone was spending so much time at home, in their homes, probably more than they had in my entire lifetime. And so I think that was really our primary focus was just creating a space and creating something that felt like sanctuary, that felt like home, that felt like safety, that felt like comfort, and that also just felt beautiful in a time where things were, you know, not looking so great. Definitely. Uh, Kalu, I know that you are the one who, um, you and I have been corresponding back and forth uh, about this uh, interview, and I just, I really do feel like you guys are selling so many things, right? Products, plants, you know, home goods, but there's also just this really feel-good vibe that you're giving off to the community. How important was that for you guys? I think that uh, prioritizing joy was probably at the forefront of everything that we were doing next to um, making sure that we honored and celebrated black makers and artists and entrepreneurs and being able to provide them a space to sell their product, to um, you know, showcase their items and their art um, and to feel like they deserved to be there. So for us, you know, understanding that our community was in a place of uh, pain, was in a place of anger, was in a place of sadness. We just knew that it was important for us to show up and this was just our form of activism and our form of, of kind of giving back and pouring into our community. Definitely. I've got a few plants myself. I am uh, call myself a mini plant lady at this point. Talk to me about what types of plants people can find uh, at your greenhouse. We have a, a wide variety of plants at the shop. We get deliveries twice a week now. So we pride ourselves on having sort of a core collection of things that are really familiar to people, things that people ask for often, things that they kind of come in and know what to look for. And then we like to kind of throw into that mix some more things that are a little harder to find that you won't see um, every day, things that will add something really beautiful to your space. So we have I can't even tell you how many plants or how many different varieties in there at any given time. But when we get our fresh delivery and we've got a full house, um, you know, you walk in and you're just kind of transported to this other world. Talk to me a little bit about the collaborations as well, because I know you also have, uh, you, you sell coffee there from uh, another local woman. Yes, yeah, so um, a good friend of ours also started Blythe Coffee. Her name is Natalia Carrera, and she is here in Oakland, California as well. Um, and we just thought that it would be a beautiful addition to coming into our space because for us, we're prioritizing a feeling and an experience and being of service to community. So we thought about all of the really unique ways that we could create that. And having a uh, Black Coffee barista who makes the most impeccable and like unique combination of flavors uh, just kind of made sense. And she she joined us because from, from idea and concepts and vision to execution, we opened in six weeks. And I think I tapped her in at about three weeks and 
she was game and she decided she wanted to uh, to join in and it's been the most amazing amazing addition to our copy our uh, plant shop sorry wonderful collaboration there today as i mentioned earlier it is your one year anniversary all weekend you guys have been celebrating you had like a 90s uh day where people could dress up and you know you were playing all 90s inspired hip-hop music which looks so, like so much fun today there's actually an evening shopping experience right yeah, so tonight we're doing an evening shopping experience. It's sort of in the vein of like a self-care Sunday. So the vendors that will be there will all be featuring lots of different self-care items from herbalists to tea, crystals, um, Florida water, all of those things, um, fresh juice that people can come and get. So tonight we'll be there from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Um, we highly suggest that people make appointments. We're expecting to have a full house. We'll have a live DJ there playing. So we're really looking forward to it. I think I have a little bit of the information so people uh, can can check out exactly where you guys are located. Uh, if we could put that on the screen there, because I, I think that also you uh, say on the website, it's just um, appointments only. I know you said you want people to make appointments tonight. It is, it's always appointments only? Well, we do accept walk-ins. Um, however, you know, because of the surge in COVID cases, we're still trying to kind of make sure that we can not reach high capacity of folks inside of this shop. We do have an outdoor area, so we just like to be able to control and monitor the flow for the safety of our staff, of our community and our guests. Um, so that's why we say appointments are highly encouraged. If we're not at capacity, we definitely accommodate walk-in or there might be a wait and, and we try to get everybody in. All right, ladies, thank you for joining me this morning, letting folks know about your uh, beautiful space there, Black Girls Greenhouse, celebrating one year there in West Oakland. A, a beautiful space, a, a great space for you to then help yourself uh, make a sanctuary of your own, and I really think that that's a beautiful thing you're giving to the community. Ladies, enjoy yourselves, and happy anniversary to you. Thank you. We appreciate you. Definitely. That's all the time we've got here for the Crown 4 News Weekend Morning Show. I'm Noelle Bello. Thanks for joining us here this morning.